message of St. Teresa of Avila for these lockdown times. I would say this is the very important message that she is giving us, to you and to me, a sense of humor. Sense of humor has been a very good panacea during these lockdown times for many of us. And she had a beautiful sense of humor. Now the word humor, if you go to the etymology, it means juice, sweet, fragrant juice. The person who has got the sense of humor is said to be oozing out a beautiful, fragrant sense of humor. Did Jesus have a sense of humor? I would say definitely. The Gospel writers did not mention about it in detail. But we can surmise the sense of humor in very many incidents in the life of Jesus. I keep only three in front of you. The first one, that of Zacchaeus. Imagine, short, dumpy, bumpy Zacchaeus running ahead and climbing that dwarfish sycamore tree. Jesus goes there and Jesus has a hearty laughter. Zacchaeus, come down, he says, laughing. The second, Cana. In Cana, they have no wine. And at Mary's word, Jesus asked the servants to fill the jars with water. The servants are bewildered. They're confused. Filling the jars with water? What is he up to? Jesus smiles sweetly at Mother Mary. And the third one which I would like to mention here is that of Peter who sees Jesus walking on the water. He is so exuberant, so effusive and he says, Jesus, let me come. And Jesus tells him, come. And he had nothing on. He wraps a towel around his waist and jumps in the water. Did not Jesus laugh at that moment? Yes. Endorphins are said to be neurochemicals, the transmitters which enhance our sense of humor. Now these endorphins are helped by seven activities according to the scientist. Three of them I place before you. Meditation, exercise and laughter whether you feel it or not. Now, St. Therese of Avila was much ahead of her scientific times and she had a wonderful sense of humor and that's why she has become a saint from all other saints special. Two, three anecdotes or experiences about sense of humor. There are many of them. The one, we all know she wrote such a lot about prayer, so extensively, so clearly, but the end of the treatise she is writing. I have written clearly enough about prayer, but I wonder if it is clear to me. What a sense of humor. Second, she was on a travel and on the way she was thrown out of her cart by the donkey. She fell in the slushy mud in the wet field below. She got up and she said, Lord, is this the way you treat with me? The Lord said to her, Teresa, that is how I treat with my friends. And she shot back, yes, Lord, that is why you have so few of them. And she said once, Lord, save us from long-faced nuns. 
I don't want any melancholic saint in my convents. Of course, this is much attributed to her, but there is no documentary proof that she really said it. It is very much attributed to her because of her such a big sense of humor. And finally, I have found it somewhere. Her convent was infested with lice. Nothing was of any use. Every effort was in vain. So she composed a song, collected all her nuns, and led the procession around the convent, all the nuns beating the pans and pots and shouting at the top of, her, of their voice and dancing around the convent. And the lice disappeared. My dear sisters and brothers, lessons for all of us. Robin Sharma, in his book, Who Will Cry When You Die, has one chapter on fake it to make it. He says, anything what you don't have it inside, if you practice it, force it on yourself, slowly, gradually, you get that. He had that experiment on university students. Some were made to be very sad every day. Some were made to be very cruel. cruel. And at the end of two, three days, the experiment was to be continued for seven days. They really became so. Normal students, some were very sad, some were very cruel. So he says, in the morning, go to the mirror. Even if you don't feel it, just give a broad smile. If not, laugh. Slowly, slowly, you will become a man of humor, a religious with a sense of humor. I am more afraid, she said before dying, a few days before dying. I am more afraid of one single nun who is having a sad face than hundreds of devils. Why am I afraid of more afraid of one nun? Because she can infect all others with gloominess. One nun with a beautiful smile, with a sense of humor, changes the whole convent with joy and happiness. Let this gift of sense of humor be with us, for us, in these difficult times. Thank you.